It's a lovely day at the grocery store, my friends, specifically Whole Foods. And there are a lot of deals that are going on until the end of the month that I wanted to make a video. And we're not going to waste any time because on the wall of breads here is one of the best Bobby approved ones on sale. You've heard me talk about this brand, Silver Hills. I like it a lot because of a keyword right here, sprouted bread. Sprouted grain bread is always gonna be more nutritionally dense than regular grain bread because sprouted breads like this, a wheat or an oat sometimes, are soaked in water overnight until they sprout. When you sprout a grain, it unlocks more nutrition for your body and it's easier to digest. What I like about this is that it's organic sprouted wheat. Yes, there's one gram of cane sugar in here per slice, not ideal, but a lot of breads have a little bit sometimes for the fermentation of the yeast, which is fine. But this compared to like an Ezekiel, Ezekiel is the OG of sprouted bread. You find it in the freezer section. It's very healthy tasting. A lot of kids don't like it. This is very soft and pillowy like a traditional bread. Your kids are going to like it and you are going to like it because you're saving four thirty so You're saving over a dollar fifty per um, loaf. That's a great deal until the end of the month. What goes with uh, bread? Peanut butter and jelly. So come over here. I always love when one of my favorite jams is on sale. There's only two that are Bobby approved and the others on this side of the pole here. This one, this one's from Canada, eh? This one's from Italy. BioNature is not on sale. This one is. Why is it a Bobby approved one? Because unlike most behind the pole here, it's not sweetened with cane sugar. It's sweetened with organic fruit juice concentrate. Yes, I talked in the past about how fruit juice concentrate is processed, which is why it's not good for a juice that's in a bottle, because that should be fresh juice. But when you use it as a sweetener, it's always going to be from concentrate and is way preferable to cane sugar. And you only have five grams per serving and it's organic fruit. Most others are going to have non-organic fruit with a ton of cane sugar. This one, wow, normal price is $4.99. It's $3.59 right now on sale. I did mention bread, jam, and peanut butter, but let's do something that's actually school safe because you can't bring nuts to school. Sunflower butter here, but this is where like shopping gets super tricky because if you take the natural sunflower butter and scan it with my app, it's gonna show not approved because it has sugar. But that's fine because this is actually the expensive one. If you get the regular sunflower butter, this one, just to double check, is Bobby approved and all it is is sunflowers and salt, you don't have the added sugar. So bread, best in class, sunflower, best in class, jam, best in class, and saving money. That's Bobby approved. We're going to call this section the kids corner here. It's nice to save money on things you'll send your kids to school with like fruit roll-ups. I'm going to give you a PSA. Don't try to make homemade fruit roll-ups at home because Leilani and I tried it last week. We blended uh, strawberries with my Flav City lemonade, a little bit of maple syrup, and I have a dehydrate uh, function on my oven. Five hours later, it still didn't work. It was wet and it was messy. Just buy these here. They're on sale. What I like about them is it literally is just fruit. There's nothing else in here. Do I wish the fruit was organic? Yes, but still, this is Bobby approved and clean because when you compare it to something that I see in a lot of kids' lunch boxes, something like Annie's here. Yes, this is organic fruit, so I'll give them that, but this is also sweetened with cane sugar, 10 grams per serving, and they always put natural flavors and sunflower in, in here. So that'll be a no, and the fruit roll-ups will be a yes. And this is really cool because you wouldn't expect bars, and 95% of these are not. You wouldn't expect bars to be Bobby approved, but if you broke out the free Bobby approved app on these, the Simple Mills Almond Nutty Banana Bars, and you scan the barcode, it comes up as approved. Why? Because it's literally made with best in class ingredients. You're looking for an easy little breakfast on the go for you or for the kitties. How about? a combination of gluten-free flours like almonds and coconuts, sweetened with a touch of coconut nectar, bananas, sunflower flour, uh, flax and chia flour, coconut oil. This is great. The chocolate ones are great. You're talking about a savings of $1.65. That's really, really solid here in Kids Corner. And remember, when you're at the grocery store and you don't know if something's Bobby approved or the ingredients are throwing you out, just break out the free Bobby approved app. You can scan any barcode. It'll tell you if it's approved or not. Unlike the Yuka app, it will highlight the bad ingredient. When you tap on it, it tells you why it's bad and it gives you a better alternative. So it's all about ingredients and making sure you put the best in your body. And best of all, it's free and it's like having me go shopping with you. 
one of my favorite new items at the grocery store is on sale. These chili crisps have gotten really popular over the years, but they always have cruddy oil. Not anymore. This is Somo's brand here, and it's all avocado based for the chili crisp. Check this out. With sesame seeds, pepitas, almonds, garlic, guajillo, peppers, and salt. They have one with little bits of pineapple. It's delicious. It's made with avocado oil, but at the same time, why is their rice and their pre-cooked refried beans in sunflower safflower oil? So, so much. I think you guys can do better because you're already using great avocado oil. This is on sale for a couple bucks off. And if you don't make your own taco seasoning mix at home, Siete is probably one of the only guys who do it right. There's no sugar, there's no filler cornmeal like most, and there's no BS ingredients. This is chili powder, dates as a sweetener, nutritional yeast, garlic, tomato. This is delicious. You put it on some pulled pork, and then you sear it and pressure cook it. Oh, muy delicioso, amigos. We'll take a really quick break from the video, and Rose and I are gonna give a shout out to Birch Living, who makes the organic birch mattresses that we have in every single bedroom of the house. They're comfortable, yes, but when you start to learn about the materials that most beds are made of, you realize that they're toxic. And what happens is they off-gas over time. Rosie has one in her room, we have one in our room. If you come to the guest house, you have a birch also. What's nice about it is that it's made with five simple materials. They're organic. It doesn't off-gas over time. You order online. It comes to your house. It's so easy that Rose and I have set up everyone in the house. It has a 25-year warranty and a 100-night sleep trial. You get 20% off your mattress of choice and two free eco-pillows. But I always talk about this. I recommend upgrading to the organic pillow. You're not gonna get a fancy silk pillowcase like Desi has here, but the organic pillow is amazing. I love it so much. I take it with me when we travel on the road. Um, but check it out, my link is down below. 20% off your mattress of choice, two free pillows. If you're in the market for a new mattress, you cannot go wrong with Birch. We got one of the most premium nut and seed milks on sale. Check this out, so milk is expensive normally. It's $6.49 for this size but it's on sale for $4.94. If you want one of the best milks without oils, gums, emulsifiers, sugar, or natural flavors, say hello to this. So this is organic vanilla almond milk. They use real vanilla extract. They use organic almonds, no other BS ingredients. And I give them big time kudos because their oat milk is not only vanilla with zero grams of added sugar. Actually, let me show you something. See where it says four grams of added sugar there? There's a law for oat milk that you have to count the natural sugars in the oats as added. So even though the ingredients show no sugar, that four grams of added is purely natural from the oats, but it has the glyphosate free stamp on there. These are glyphosate free organic oats with no gums, oils, emulsifiers, or BS ingredients. But this is not the only kind of milk I use at home because we make about four to five smoothies a day and I'm not always gonna use the premium milk like Malk or Kiki milk because it gets expensive. And people sometimes see me using this on stories and they're like, why is it Bobby approved if it does have a little bit of gums in there, like gelin and locust bean? That's because compared to some of the others, it has less emulsifiers and gums. And I'm not gonna use a premium one all the time for my smoothies because it gets expensive. So this is actually my smoothie milk and something like Malk or Kiki milk is what I use to drink or put into my cereal bowls. How about a great sale on Bobby Approved Chips and Dip? This dip's still relatively new and it's on a great sale for $4.13 now. I've never seen ingredients, and I won't see them unless I put my glasses on, in salsa like this before. It's called the Salsa Soleada. <laughs> Check out what it is. It's got, how's it going? Nice to see ya. It's got olive oil as the base, which is nice, but the combination of sun-dried tomatoes, dates, sunflowers and chipotles. You get that sweet, smoky, spicy. It's literally unbelievable. And then it just so happens that the relatively new organic corn tortilla chips fried in what? Canola oil, sunflower, like most? No. Fried in best in class avocado oil. And it's not only organic, it's fermented nixtamalized corn. This chip, this dip, saving money, total win. I see two Bobby approved chocolates on sale. This one's relatively new. It's unbelievable. I forgot the guy's name, but he used to have a really famous chocolate restaurant, David Brenner maybe, and he started this company. They also make cacao water, but this is the whole cacao bean, dried and then coated in a little bit of coconut sugar, cacao butter, 
and a little bit of coconut oil. Five pieces, which are huge, only have three grams of coconut sugar. They're crispy, they're nutty, they're a little bitter. Some have a little bit of hazelnut butter. Unbelievable, and you get a good dollar sixty off. And then these are always great. They're normally really expensive, but you get a good dollar seventy off. Hunks are the biggest, fattest cashews ever, coated in chocolate with a little bit of coconut sugar. I recently had them um, on the plane when I went to Colorado as a snack. Delicious. This or that, totally Bobby approved, totally on sale. There are two drinks to keep you caffeinated and refreshed on sale. Not all of these flavors are Bobby approved, but the one I like is Pop and Bottle. This is a cold brew latte made with almond milk, so it's dairy free. Cold brew coffee. By the way, cold brew is preferable for me because cold brew doesn't use heat to extract the coffee from the bean, and it's a lower acid, more tummy friendly coffee. But this is sweetened, not even with cane sugar or coconut sugar, with dates and a touch of pink salt. This is absolutely lovely. If you don't want caffeine, I got a hydrating coconut drink over here. Harvest Harvest is the OG of making coconut water, but now they have lines that infuse it with fruit. And kudos to them, they're using real fruit. This is coconut water with Pink Lady, and it's organic Pink Lady juice. No concentrate, no natural flavors, infused with mango, real mango juice. As we transition now into warmer weather, coconut water is nice because yes, it tastes good and it's cold, but it has natural electrolytes to keep you hydrated. If you need a little more flavor with apples and mangoes and saving money too, super cool, my friends. Somebody beat me to the punch, my friends. This is what happens, it's called the Bobby effect. I showed this parchment paper so much on my stories over on Instagram and Facebook. When it goes on sale, people beat me, but they do have the baking cup. So if you use parchment sheets at home or you use baking cups for muffins or cupcakes, keep in mind that 99% of the times they're usually bleached with chlorine and they have forever chemicals impregnated into the material so fats don't leach through. These guys, if you look, it not only says unbleached, chlorine free, they also don't have forever chemicals too. And I love their parchment sheets and I really wanted to buy more, but they're completely out. So if you have it at your Whole Foods, I would buy them because they're a great deal right now. But if you make muffins or cupcakes, this is great too. I like the fact that the Whole Foods ones say unbleached too, but even ones that are unbleached could still have forever chemicals in there. I've talked about that in past in uh, posts and reels. So go with this brand. Go with the muffins or the cupcakes, and if you have the uh, parchment, go with those two. The OGs of Bath & Body, Dr. Bronner's Liquid Soap is on sale. That's a great deal. It's essentially $3 and 50 some odd cents off here. I've talked about this in the past, but a lot of personal care products will have harsh fragrances and perfumes and scrubbing agents. You're never gonna find that with Dr. Bronner's. They're the OG that does it right, even though it will be a scent. This one is hemp citrus. They use real orange oil. They use olive oil in here. If there happens to be a fragrance in there, like this one says rose fragrance, it's actually rose essential oil. You're never gonna see the nasty perfumes and fragrances that are one of the biggest lies in the personal care world. They won't tell you the ingredients in them because they're proprietary. The only thing I don't get is that I'm a bar soap guy. And like we talk, talked about this in the past, but so many people like liquid soap. And when I do use it, I feel like you waste half the bottle because like it ends up going down your body or off the loofah. So for me, I like the Bronner's Bar Soap, which is fantastic. But if you're a liquid soap kind of guy, Bronner's is one of the best and saving serious money is good too. A dollar fifty off of Bobby approved graham crackers. I'll give Simple Mills credit. Almost all the cookies they make are Bobby approved. And this is probably the only graham cracker that has best in class ingredients. And it's gluten-free. And a lot of times you'll see gluten-free flours made with like rice flour, corn flour. They use nutrient-dense watermelon seeds, cashews, sunflower seeds, and flax seeds as the flour. Sweetened with a touch of coconut sugar. But 12 Thins only has six grams of sugar and it's paleo sweetener. And it has real vanilla, real cocoa, no natural flavors. Unfortunately, they're sold out of the regular one, which I, wanted to use as the base for my no-bake cheesecake cups that we made uh, the other week. It's a great way to use it for uh, cheesecake bases too, but either one is great and saving a dollar fifty is fantastic also. I'm not a big fan of going to those hipster juice spots and getting Aussie bowls that are way overpriced and have a lot of sugar, but these are on sale right now. It's a really good deal for about two dollars off. If you want to make your own Aussie bowl, 
Be careful which one you choose because one of these things is not like the other. The original one looks innocuous enough, but when you take on your reading glasses from Amazon.com, you see that one pack has 12 grams of added cane sugar to it. That's not Bobby approved. The unsweetened one is the Bobby approved because it has no added sugar and all the other ingredients are perfect. You drop this in a blender with your acai bowl stuff, you save a ton of money compared to going to those juice spots and paying 12 bucks for a bowl. This is what you want and it's on sale. My friends, this is one of the more interesting things I've seen. You guys know I love those Aldi packets of pre-cooked brown rice and quinoa in olive oil. This takes it up one notch and it's so close to being perfectly Bobby approved. So this is rice cooked in bone broth and it's on sale for $2.51. So first they make their own chicken bone broth with chicken bones. The bones themselves are not organic or non-GMO. That's the only issue, but then they cook the rice in the bone broth and they use avocado oil for the Spanish rice. They use turmeric with garlic and onions. Holy cow, to cook rice in nutrient dense, collagen rich, chondroitin rich bone broth, and to have it pre-cooked for you on sale. If it were chicken that was pasture raised or organic and be Bobby approved, this is still technically the closest you can possibly get. I would grab it for sure. Holy cow. All right, friends, that is it. A ton, I mean, a literal ton of items on sale that are Bobby approved until April 30th. So you have time. I'm gonna finish up my shopping, head home and have lunch, but from the grocery store, my favorite place, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Bye.